Hey guys, welcome back to SLA online training session. My name is Jason Narke and this session is going to be about Python and why Python for web development. So let's take a quick look at today's agenda. What is Python and what we can do with Python? What are all the reasons we use Python for web development? Then the standard Python libraries followed by the application areas where we normally apply Python. The benefits of Python, then who are all using Python now? At last, we have the flexibility waivers Python provides to web development. Let's begin our session with the basics of Python. So, what is Python? Python is one of the fastest growing languages and number one coding language in recent times. In what terms? In terms of the number of companies those who are using Python, the number of developers those who are following Python, the number of areas it is implemented, and the number of the libraries Python provides. So, these are all the definitions alone? Of course not. We do have some specific traditional definitions for Python. Python is an interpreted, high-level, object-oriented language. It provides user-friendly data structures that are combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding semantics. So, this makes Python an attractive way for creating rapid applications in a quick way. What we can do with Python? We can create Python applications in a numerous way and we can use Python almost everywhere because in recent times Python is almost in every single domain. So what we can do with Python? Let's say one by one. We can use Python in machine learning. So not only in machine learning, we can use Python in artificial intelligence, we can use Python in automation. At the same time, we can use Python in animation as well. Even the movie giant Disney is using Python. So we can use Python for data science and data analysis. We can also use Python for data visualization and for control. We can also use Python for creating GUI based applications and we can also use Python for creating desktop applications as well. Also, we use Python for creating multi protocol network based applications. So, for these many reasons, Python is familiarly used for web development and this is one of the main reasons why Python is known as the general purpose language and this is the one of the reason for why modern day colleges and schools are now teaching Python to their students. So this is one of the main reasons why you people should learn Python because Python provides user friendly data structures and this is that much easy that is damn easy compared with other languages like C, C++ and Java. Let's take a quick look at the libraries we use. So what are all the Python web libraries we have? Python provides a lot of libraries like Django, Flask, for web development, Web2Py, CherryPy, Tornado, Turbogears, and Dash. So you can use Django and Flask for creating rapid web applications in Python platform. Followed by you can use Web2Py and CherryPy for minimalized applications in terms of data analytics and analysis with control. And you can create thousands and thousands of connections to your application while we are using Tornado. Then you can use Dash for some quick analytical application actions. So these are all the web standard libraries which are given by Python for initial web development. And this is also very very easy because it provides lesser code functionalities. All the modules of Python web starts with the lesser code. So not only lesser code, 
Python's lesser code will give you the user-friendly syntax, which is very, very easy to learn, to understand, and to use, just like English commands. Because we can create n number of codings for web development in terms of creating new applications with a very lesser code in less time, which means it provides more functionality solutions to complex problems in less time with very few lines of code. Then, what are the application areas we cover in Python? So the very important application areas where we apply Python is creating image based applications, creating desktop GUI applications, creating console based applications, creating multi protocol network applications. We can also create social media applications. We can also create e-business applications. We can also have the liberty to create Network-based web applications, and finally, we can also create software development, which includes gaming, hacking, and etc. So these are all some of the few reasons why Python is familiarly used in almost every single web app development domain. So, benefits of Python. Let's see what are all the benefits Python provides to new users. Python provides a lot of benefits to new users, especially. The very first one is Python provides extensive. library support so not only extensive library support python also provides open source code redistribution so you can create and develop applications in python and you can run it almost like every os like windows mac and linux also, Python allows the presence of third-party modules. So, what is the use of using third-party modules along with Python packages and modules? Using these reasons, Python provides memory optimization, memory code reusability, Code reusability with utilization as well. So, memory optimization is possible. Optimized memory will be used with code reusability technique. So, reducing memory is automatic. So, that's why Python is also known as general purpose programming language. At the same time, it is an automatic memory mapping language. So, what are the next reasons why we use Python? So, developing applications is rapid because of its extensibility. Python is also known as an extensible language for some reason. I told you about the memory mapping. Since automatic memory mapping is available, the garbage collector will be working standby all the time while taking action against each instruction line by line. So, you can use Python as a main language or as a supporting language.
speed and productivity is also the very important reason why we use Python for web development because creating app development is that much easier due to its simple and user friendly syntax. If you can go and ask any web developers about which language was easiest to learn, you can get the ultimate answer and that is Python. Because if once you understand how web development works in Python, it is easy for you people to understand the other programming languages like Java, JavaScript, Perl and PHP and some other languages. And also Python provides a stepping stone activity. To use your previous program as a module. So you can have the liberty to use your own Python program in the name of module. So not only Python provides modules and packages by default in order to achieve program modularity and code reusability, also Python allows you to create your own customized Python program in the name of modules for better code reusability and to optimize memory in a flash. So these are all the reasons why we use Python again for web development. Then, who are all using Python in modern days? The blue chip sites, the very famous blue chip sites like Amazon, now using Python, Disney is using Python, PBS, Reddit, eBay, Instagram, Google and you can also use Python inside NASA applications and then discuss also. So these are all some of the main examples of blue chip sites those who are using Python frequently within their app development phase. So these people are using Python frequently and this is again one of the reason why Python is that much popular among the rest of languages. And last of all, we are coming to the closure of the session by seeing what are all the flexibility flavors Python provides. Python provides lot of integrated support with other languages by default in its package of standard libraries. So what are all the flavors? The first one is called C Python or Cython. The second one is Jython. Third one is called IPython or IMPython. The next one is called RPython or Ripython. The next one is called Pygeon. Next one is Python. Then we have Nuitka followed by number. So, what is C Python? I told you about the integration support and strong implementation support of giving packages, libraries, tools and frameworks to other languages. Python comes up with a standard set of libraries associated with C platform. So, C Python in a sense, C with Python. Then how app development is working with Java inside Python platform? That is about Jython. So Java plus Python for app development. I'm Python or IPython is a very important term used for Python with .NET and MVC, the model view controller architecture. Then what about R Python? R Python is for the R programming with Python. So data science is possible with not only Python, Python R also. So Pygeon. So what is Pygeon? Pygeon is one of the JIT interface used for Microsoft integration. So Microsoft integration with Python. So in order to contribute from Python platform to Microsoft, we use Pygeon. And Python again is one of the open source JIT interface is primarily used for connecting Python platform with cloud applications like
OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. But Pygeon and PyStone, especially, is used only for Dropbox compared with other two cloud applications. Then, what is called Nuica? We know about compiler, we know about interpreter, but we know that Python is an interpreted language. So, we don't have a separate compiler in Python since we have the invention of compiler inside interpreter in Python. Python is also known as an interpreted high level object oriented language. So, you can treat Python in an object oriented fashion, in a sequential fashion, in a functional fashion or in a procedural fashion according to your use. So, you can use Python for your own purpose. So, Nuica is known as a transpiler or you can call it like compiler by compiler or compiler based compiler which converts the Python code into low level codes like C++ executives. So, converting Python to C++ executive rules. Then what is number? Number is one of the interface again we use in Python and this number is especially used for converting the Python code and NumPy code into the low level codes as well. So these are all the sessions and these are all the abilities we have for today's session. We are coming to the closure of this session. That's it for this session and I will meet you soon with the next video. Until then it's RK signing off.